Hey, it's been a long summer. The kids are back in school. I'm back to bring y'all an update and to get back reloading my content, man. Now, the video I left y'all off at was we got a car to put on Turo. We got our first car for Turo, man. This is the next step of the journey, man. So we got the car in June and we activated our account the last week of June. I was excited to get my first trip, then my second trip, then I got my third trip. Now this is where it go wrong. On my third trip, somebody got into a car accident, man. Now this car was on Turo and a custom got into an accident. I was only in my third trip until this car got messed up, man. I did a lot of grinding to get the personal property tax, get everything done, get this mug ready to go. And then just three trips in, this mug gone, man. I'm gonna go through the claiming process, see how it go. Hopefully it's just a bump in the road, man. But hey, my car down already. Sad. I was like, dang, I just got started. Like on my third trip, that's it, three? And she and the basically it was like two and a half because she on the on the third trip where it got hit. So it was like two and a half, man. I made this much out of those three trips. I think it was like six hundred and fifty something. And it was only it was only January the ninth, man. It was only January the ninth. So that was right after the holiday. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna at least make about twelve to fifteen hundred this month, because it was five weeks in July. And then you take it on into August. But I couldn't really I, I just got I just got a taste of it, man. I just got a taste of the Turo situation, man. But that one hurt, man. That one hurt because I was just getting started. That's kind of like the school closing on me at the end when I was about to finish. You know, it's just like, dang, these these timing is just crazy, man. So when I was about to have that third income coming in. It got messed up, man. But, hey, the journey still continues after that, man. So, the summertime was tough, man. I couldn't really get to content because I had my kids at home most of the time. I was going through a situation with the mother of my kids where our uh, schedule was, was was just messed up. So, it was like I couldn't. I had to, I had to take away something off my plate, and that was creating content at the time. But now the kids are back in school. Now I can update y'all on what's going on, man. Now, y'all know I still do Uber, right? So I still go out there and selling snack bags and all that. But I updated my sign on the back of my seat, which I'm about to show y'all now. As y'all can see, I can sit, uh, I still sell the snacks, and then I had the, uh, then I had the schedule right, and then I had to rent a car. So I was promoting myself, advertising myself while I was out there doing Uber. So since the car went down, I've been getting a lot of people, what's this about this? Rent a car situation, man. So I got people asking me. I got customers. I had customers lined up, but I lost the car. My advertising, my marketing is going good in the back of my seat, but I had to go through that total process loss on Turo. Now, if you ever think about doing Turo and you go through this total loss process, I'm going to show you how. Uh, not show you. I'm going to tell you how the process goes, man. One. The car gonna get totaled. They gonna tell you to take your car to an auto body shop. Now I am in the Turo group track, and they told me take your car to the auto body shop and get the estimate for them first before you tell Turo. I actually like that idea because you will get the total amount of money you need to get your car fixed up front. That will save time. For me saying that, I didn't take my car first to the auto body shop. They just gave me an estimate of what they thought. It was going to be to get it fixed by pictures, by the pictures that I put on my profile. They just sent me a check to get it fixed, right? So when I took it to the auto body shop, it was double the amount of what the auto body shop had and what Turo gave me. I'm telling you right now, this process took two months to get done, man. It's a long process and it's a lot of downtime and waiting time, waiting to see what's going to happen. Turo's going to give you an agent. To take on your clan to help you through this process you know for me you know i'm an entrepreneur building this stuff from scratch i wanted to see how this process was going to go for my first time being uh for my first time doing it uh, so when they gave me that first check i had plans on what i can do with this money instead of 
like getting a call fix. You know what I'm saying? I was coming up with option one, option two, and option three, just in case they say, well, make it enough. You know what I'm saying? Just in case they say that, hey, that's all the money you're getting from us. You're going to have to do what you got to do and figure it out. Now, the reason why they, uh, now, the reason why they said they're going to claim it as a total loss because I gave them the estimate papers the auto body shop gave me. And then they went over it and they was like, well, we just going to total out the car. So once they did that, I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go through this totaling out process. So once we started going through that, so once we went through that process, my agent said, this insurance IAA is going to reach out to you to handle your total loss claim. So I'm like, all right, cool. So IAA reached out to me. I started talking to them. They told me to give me your, your lender so they can talk to them and send them the, the settlement money. Once we start going through this process, IAA send them a check, a settlement to my lender, right? So once they do that, I'm supposed to send the half of money that Turo them gave me to pay off the rest portion of my settlement on my lender. Now, this is where it gets tricky, right? I had gap insurance on that car but since it's being a ride so since Turo fall on the ride share gap insurance doesn't cover my car so i'm left with that debt after that car and the person that got into this car accident just messed me up man so gap insurance won't cover the rest of my loan and i still got 72 months on that loan man at least i got time but still i'm like dang she messed up my second income and put me back in debt. One out the and put me back in debt while I was just trying to get out of, man. It was like it was just a tough situation. Gap. The reason Gap didn't take my claim is because it said Turo Inc. on my papers. Now I thought it was gonna say IAA insurance, you know what I'm saying? So it can it can go through. But once he started reading through it, he was like, Tura Inc. is a commercial business and you use your car for commercial and your gap insurance don't cover commercial situations. So that's why I didn't get my gap claim. And that's why I'm stuck in with this debt that I got to pay off. So what's next? What's next for me, man? And this is where we at, man. We got to figure it out. We got to accept the ups and downs but right now i'm just learning about my business credit so i can't get more calls and then get the commercial gap insurance and then we go from there man so i'm still out here doing uber and the lift i'm still selling the snack bag still bringing the income i still got that play out the bus tablet that's bringing the income i still got things that's bringing the income but now we're trying to build off that and keep going from there but hey, that's the journey, man. Your ups and downs, man. I'm always having growing pain, so I'm just used to them now. I just go from there, man. So we're going to do this on the business side. We're going to stay on the commercial side, get some more calls, and build from there. We're trying to get our first call again on the commercial side instead of on our personal. Once we start getting more calls, that's going to pay off the rest of that loan on my personal and take care of that. So I will have a a lot of debt coming up for these calls, but it's cool. It's all part of business. It's all part of the game. If I taught y'all something in this video, man, hit that like button. Hit that follow button to join me on this journey. It hasn't been easy with these ups and downs, but, hey, we still going and we still growing. I appreciate y'all hitting that subscribe button. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Hey, we back. I'm going to be showing y'all videos of me back outside doing Uber until we get another call. So I'll be learning on the other side and doing what I can do to bring y'all the content so we can keep growing and getting better on this business thing. I'm CT, man, and I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Let's get it. Hey, that was a long summer with them kids, man. I'm letting y'all know that, man. Woo, I'm glad it's over. Let's get it, baby. Hey, what? thanks for watching CTTV. That's <laughs> TV.